vera is one of the oldest plants known to provide many amazing benefits for skin, health, weight loss and more. Egyptians idealized aloe vera for its anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects. Aloe is a genus containing over 560 species of flowering succulent plants. The most widely known species is aloe vera, or true aloe. It is called this because it is cultivated as the standard source for assorted pharmaceutical purposes active components with its properties. Aloe vera contains 75 potentially active constituents. Vitamins, enzymes, minerals, sugars, lignin, saponins, salicylic acids and amino acids. Vitamins, it contains vitamins A, beta carotene, C and E, which are antioxidants. It also contains vitamin B12, folic acid and choline. The leaves hold the gooey translucent gel, also extremely bitter, and known all over the world for its unbelievable healing properties. This translucent gel is made up of around 96% water. Some organic and inorganic compounds, a type of protein which contains 18 of the 20 amino acids found in the body and lastly, vitamin A, B, C and E. It has antioxidant and antibacterial properties. It accelerates wound healing. It reduces dental plaque. It helps treat canker sores. It reduces constipation. It may improve skin and prevent wrinkles. It lowers blood sugar levels. Pick one thick green aloe vera leaf. Cut it from the bottom and wash it properly. Slit the leaf from the center into two slices. Hang it in a way that the broad part faces downwards. Now, leave it for 4 to 5 hours. Remove the skin and separate the gel from the leaf. Can add in a mixer jar to make a semi-liquid gel. Now it is ready to apply or massage your whole body. Vitamins A and C which can treat burns, acne, dry skin and many other skin issues. It is highly inflammatory too. With all these benefits, aloe vera is definitely good for face. It's suitable for all skin types, so you can apply on sensitive skin as well. The salicylic acid in aloe vera helps in unclogging the pores, which is a great thing when you deal with pimples and blackheads. Aloe vera also helps in removing the pesky scars and fading the blemishes. It slows down the signs of aging. Massaging with aloe vera helps improve blood circulation and getting rid of marks not only for face but aloe vera can also do wonders to your entire body. When applied all over the body, it protects your skin from the pollution while giving the moisture of aloe vera. It treats minor cuts, wounds, dry skin and severe burns too along with exfoliating restoring and providing constant impressive nutrition to the human skin. Aloe gel is used in India for the treatment of asthma and it treats blood sugar level. Also helps curing ulcer. Babies have soft and sensitive skin and their skin may easily get damaged whenever it gets exposed to the sun for long hours. Though sun exposure is good for the babies. Keeping them under the sun for more than required amounts of time may turn their skin red and it may burn too. You may use aloe vera gel for babies to bring down the inflammation and redness. This gel has cooling properties that soothe your baby's skin. Some babies may develop eczema, a very uncomfortable skin condition in which red and itchy inflamed patches may appear on your baby's skin. You may even use aloe vera for baby's eczema as it may help in providing relief from the itching and inflammation. You may do your best as a parent to protect your baby, but injuries, insect bites, rashes or other skin conditions are inevitable and may affect your baby at some point. You may use aloe vera for your baby's skin to cure most of the skin conditions. The gel can be applied on minor bruises, burns, cuts, rashes and other such skin conditions for providing relief and healing.
The gel also works well to provide relief from insect bites too. You may use aloe vera to treat diaper rash in babies. The pH in aloe vera balance of your baby's scalp but it also makes your baby's hair soft and shiny.